The Burj Khalifa is currently the world's tallest building. A man looks at the top of the building and measures the height of elevation to be 44 degrees. So he stood here and the angle of elevation is 44 degrees. He then moves back 203 metres in the same line from the building and looks up and the angle of elevation will be 38 degrees. Calculate the proximal height of the building correct to two significant figures. So this is just a two-dimensional trigonometry problem. So drawing out diagrams always a useful problem solving technique. So drawing out both triangles. So we've got this angle is 38, this is 44, this is a right angle, this is H. Unfortunately, we don't know this distance, so we're going to call that to be X. So we have one thing to find, which is H, but we have two unknowns, so we'll probably need two equations in order to solve them. So drawing out the smaller triangle first and then doing a little bit of trigonometry on that. So that's the opposite. This is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse and we all know Sokka Toa. And we've got adjacent opposite and we got the angle. We don't know anything about this, but we do know that let, we've let this be X and we need to have an equation with X in it. So it suggests we're using Toa, so that's tan. Theta is the opposite over adjacent. Always a good idea to write out formally because it commits it to memory. So we have that tan of 44 degrees is H over X. And we'll just make X a subject. So X will be H over tan 44. Drawing out the larger triangle. So this distance is now 203 plus X. Similar sort of thing. Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Again, we're going to use tan. And now we can say that tan of 38 is H over 203 plus X. We'll call that equation 1 and that equation two we'll substitute that into two so we'll substitute one into two so instead of x i'm now going to write h over tan 44 so we get tan of 38 is h over 203 plus well x is now h over tan 44 okay so now it really depends on our powers of algebra uh, first thing i do is make a sort of common denominator here in the denominator seems a bit strange so tan 38 is going to be h over 203 times tan 44 plus h all over tan 44. Now I'm going to take all of this denominator here, all of this, and take it up here by multiplying. So I've got tan 38 is times 203 tan 44 plus h over tan 44. It's just equal to h. Now I've got h on its own, but unfortunately I've got an h here. So I've really got to get these two h's collected together. So the only thing I can do is expand the bracket. So we're going to have 203 tan 38 times tan 44. I've written the multiplication sign in now because I think on the calculator, if you put those two together, it won't work. Then H time tan 38 all over... Oh, sorry. Now this tan 44, I'm going to take up here so it becomes H tan 44. And now I'm going to do is take H tan 38 over here. So we get... 203 tan 38 times tan 44 is equal to h tan 44 minus h tan 38. There's a common factor here of h, so we can now take it out. We've only got one h now. So 203 tan 38 times tan 44 is equal to h tan 44 minus tan 38. This is multiplied, so what we need to do is divide. So we've got h is going to be 203 tan 38 times tan 44 over tan 44 minus tan 38 and then uh, we're working this out on a calculator we should use the fraction button to so put the fraction button and then put this in and i think you need that multiplication sign otherwise it won't work so write this all in your calculator make sure you calculate this in degrees and you'll get that h is 830.567 and therefore correct to two significant figures, that zero has no effect on the three, which is 830 metres to two significant figures. And if you look up on Wikipedia, you will see that is the actual proximal height of the Burj Khalifa. OK, this has been a video to show you how to find the height of a building using a little bit of trigonometry. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.